Hello everyone. Uh, good evening. Today we are going to learn uh, very basic uh, Selenium with Python. What we are going to learn, let me show you. We are going to learn Selenium with Python and it will be very basic okay and we will learn step by step first what we are going to do is we are going to learn basic python then we are going to learn how to create very um, simple task project in selenium using python programming so simple project project test or we can say simple project test then we are going to do here create a test for Google search then we are going to add implicit weight and going to maximize maximize window then run our tests for validation then create then create unit tests let's not better uh, go for unit test today just uh, close the test then just quit the test very simple okay that's five um, very basic uh, steps we are going to do first let's see how we can uh, work with very basic Python uh, I'm working on PyCharm PyCharm is IDE IDE is uh, integrated development environment let me create a new project I'm going to name it new project okay then we have to select interpreter I am selecting existing interpreter and using Python version 3.72 all right and I'm opening new window we are here and let's create a new Python file and the name of the Python file is Google search Babul and we see Google search bubble.py is our file name so Python starts with print statement it's a very basic uh, we can print we are learning selenium 
and let's print it. Let's run it. Run. And we are learning selenium. Okay. And in Python, let's start with variable. In Python, um, command is hashtag. So let's start with variable. Variables. What is variables? Variables are container that stores data. All right. Okay. Let's see. A is a container. I mean variable. A is equal to 100. B is equal to uh, 95. And let's see. C is equal to A plus B. Okay. And let's print C. And result will be definitely printed A plus B equals equal to 100 plus 95. <coughs> I'm sorry, excuse me. And if we again see X equal to 1000 and y equal to wonderful so for example okay uh, y is wonderful excuse me and we print x equal to let's print it and check and x equal to 1000 and let's print y and definitely it's going to print wonderful all right now let's uh, just print Python is a white space then plus Y and let's see what does it print and it's going to print Python is wonderful right and we can also print uh, selenium is white space in python when we put a space we call it white space and plus y and it's we we can say wonderful and easy okay and now let's see what does it print selenium is wonderful and easy all right now we already know um, a little bit about python python programming now see oh, how does it work um, in conditional statements if a is greater than b all right look at the indentation in python when we uh, go to second space it becomes indented okay and we have to follow the indentation rules it's mandatory in python though in another languages in other uh, programming languages indentation is for readable purpose for um, make it more beautiful 
and clean coding but in Python indentation is must and necessary it's not optional it's mandatory so if uh, a is greater than B I'll say print a is greater than B and else print A is smaller than B. All right. In every language, uh, in every programming language, we have to put inverted comma uh, when we use strings. So A is smaller than B is a string. So we must put um, inverted comma. Though in Python, Python inverted comma single or double will be accepted you can use uh, either single comma or double commas okay let's print it and we see a is greater than B because a is 100 and B is 95 definitely a is greater than B uh, let's see um, if we say a is 100 and b is 200 so if we say a is greater than b definitely um, a is not greater than b so uh, else block will be printed Right, A is smaller than B. A is smaller than B. So Python is very easy programming language than um, in comparison with other languages like Java, C Surf, uh, Perl, Ruby, and PHP. Now let's go to Selenium. How we can use all this? Um, Python basic programming in Selenium. Let's create a new Python file and say Google tests 001 and before going for Selenium, let's check whether Selenium is in our computer. Let's go to CMD and just say P show Selenium. And we see Selenium, Selenium is there. And definitely Python is in our machine as we already uh, writing codes using Python. Okay, so we are fine to move forward. First, we are going to create a test for our Google search. Mm, I'll say from Selenium import web driver. Okay. Then we will say uh, driver is equal to I'll write just driver driver is equal to web driver <coughs> dot we are using Chrome driver and we have to put an executable path and executable path will be 
um, Chrome driver path. Uh, I have downloaded it and let's just copy it from my computer. It is in download section Chrome driver. Chrome driver is here. Okay, Chrome driver. I just copy it then I will put into another um, directory or folder I'm creating new folder and name it drivers okay and I just paste the driver here and driver name of the driver is chrome driver dot exe it is right here and I will just copy the file path copy the path and put here the file path and for Windows I'm using window Windows so we should make a double or backward slash or just single forward slash I'm putting single forward slash this is mandatory for Windows those who are using Windows you can put either double backward slash or make it single forward slash okay and now what we can do <coughs> we can say driver dot implicitly wait for I'll say five minutes we are telling driver to wait implicitly just for five seconds um, before the driver is uh, finding or locating web elements okay then we are going to we are telling the driver to maximize our windows then I'm going to tell the browser sorry the driver driver go and get the URL of uh, Google HTTPS colon slash slash www dot Google dot com since uh, Google dot com is uh, strings is a string so we have to put inverted commas then I'm telling the driver driver go and find elements by name <clears throat> let's check uh, Google google.com we will check the elements of this such uh, search bar of the Google I just click on the arrow icon then hover over on the search bar and click here and we can find name is attribute and the value is Q I just double click here and copy just the value and put the value just inside here since Q is a character I'll put it inside the inverted comma then say dot send underscore keys I'll just say my name and go to and press enter then again say driver go and find 
Clemens. I'm sorry. By name, again, I go to Google and I'll just close it, then go and put my cursor on Google search, Google search button, then click right button, then inspect the elements. And again, I click on this arrow icon, then hover over on Google search, click on it, and I see name is attribute and its um, value is btnk. I double click here and just copy it, right button, click, then copy, and just paste here btnk the value and I'll say just click click is a method okay in build method of uh, selenium <clears throat> then I just say print driver dot title okay <clears throat> then I just say driver dot close then finally I will say driver just quit the browser <clears throat> excuse me all right what I can do here I can tell the driver time I write just time then I just write time in <coughs> I want to import the time actually we can say import time then I just say before closing the browser I can tell time dot sleep Just two seconds or five seconds. Oh. So I'll just save it, Control AS, and then run the Google search. Google search test. It's here. Then we can run from here just right button click then run google test 001 it's opening the browser then expanding the window going to google.com then write my name and finally it closed the browser okay again we can run it and check right here run google test 001 it's opening the browser expanding the window going to google.com writing my name and finally click on search button and finally shut down the browser so this is the very basic of selenium with python 
if you understand this it will be very very easy to learn selenium with python so that's all for today and in the next class we will be discussing more about python and we will be learning how we can write more test scripts a little bit longer than this and learn step by step thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial thank you